I'm actually here down here to the Old Courtier River at Sandy's Marina. You give it a try, it's a little foggy right now. The fog is rolled in, but we don't have much bait today. We only caught two minnows in the trap, and we got a frozen frog, and we got some frozen minnows, and some sweet corn. So we're going to skip her a go and see if we can get anything. Another guard pike. It's a guard pike. Well, that's the second guard pike we got. That's cool. Got him on a dead shell. I heard these supposed to be good eating. We were getting hit after hit, and I couldn't hook them. I'm just wondering why I couldn't hook them. I couldn't hook them because they're guard pike, and them guard pike are hard to hook. That's why I was missing fish after fish here today. I thought it was me. But anyone knows fish for guard park, they're hard to catch. That long, slinky, toothy mouth. Go fishing for guard park, just guard park, and see how many you catch using live and cut bait. Well, Max and I are down here on one of our usual haunts where we had some luck. So we tried a couple other spots and we hadn't had no luck. So where it gets too hot, we ain't got to catch guard pike. They're fun to catch. So they're all over the place down here. Getting a bite here. All right, all right. Well, it's a bobber. All right, we got this one on. Oh, yeah, we still got him. All right, we got a guard pike. We got a guard pike. Let's see if we can get him in. Oh yeah. Mm. Alright, we got this guard pipe. We just got this little guard pipe. We have to put on a glove. Because these things are really slimy. The slimy buggers. But they're kind of easy to catch. Alright, we got them. See, just some nylon rope. Nylon. With a hook on it. They get their teeth caught in it, as you can see. It's just a little one. Look, let them go right now. Here he goes. Boy, they're slimy. You gotta have a glove. You gotta have a glove catching these things. Well, at least we got a fish in the boat. We tried three other spots before we came here, so. Well, we can catch something down here, so hoping for another nice cat if we get lucky. Let's get another guy on over here. We can get to the camera. Let's get another guy. Oh yeah. Not a big one, but it's all right. Put a glove on. Let me get that boy off. Oh yeah. These are like snakes. There. Got them off. No harm, no foul. Just a little one. They claim these are supposed to be good eating, but you have to, I guess, cut them with uh, wire cutters. Their skin is like an alligator. That's why they're called alligator gars. Long nose gar. We got this gar. We got this gar. Look at this car. We got him. Of 
Gotta find my glove here. I'm not even gonna use them then, I'm just gonna pick them up out of the water. Got him. Got this bad boy. Oh, how's this for another gear? And you just see it got no hook there. When a nylon really gets stuck in their teeth, they can't get it out. So we'll get it out here momentarily. Then we'll release this bad boy. Or release this big old guy. There he goes. There he goes. This is how we're baiting up for these guard pipe. See, there's just a nylon rope on that hook. Put them in on it. And their teeth get caught in the nylon. And that's how you get them. You won't get them with the hook very seldom. The nylon's what hooks the fish, not the fishing hook. Well, this video is going to be about uh, getting ready for uh, gar pike fishing. Because I was thinking going fishing tomorrow, but I didn't really know what to go fish for, and it's August. And I remember last year, my, my son and I went for a gar pike. We seen some videos online where they took, you know, rope, and they took this part of an old string there. They took a variety of different things and just put it on hooks. Well. We're gonna super glue ours on. And when when the gar bites it, the hook, the only purpose of the hook is to hold the bait. What's gonna catch the gar pike is the material. The material's gonna catch him. He's gonna get his teeth caught in there. I got uh, two or three videos already online where, where, uh, where we caught gar pike. And you can see us using these in the videos. But I figured I'd do a video on it, so. I had a friend that fishes the canal a lot. He's been getting lots of lots of good runs and bites, but then but then when they pull, they get nothing. Well, that's what happens with the guard pike. They'll just pull your bait off, but with the material, they'll get their they'll get their teeth stuck in it. And this is for the long nose guard pike. That's what we got in New York State. They don't get monstrous, but we caught my son got one about ten pounds and. The state record isn't much more than that. I don't know, maybe 15, but they're fun to catch and something to do. So I'm going to get started making these. So let's give her a go, Max. I'm just taking some of this material and I'm just going to wrap it around here. A couple times, wrap it on, wrap it on the hook. I don't, I, you don't want to get the glue in the eye, so. Just wrap it around there two or three times. No. Now we're going to get something to hold it in place. This hook is about a, it's about a uh, number two eagle claw hook. You know, in the snell, if you buy them in the snell packs, it's like a number two. The size of the hook don't matter too much because the hook's not going to really catch the fish. The, uh, the material is going to catch the fish, so. So we're just putting some on, wrapping it. And now I'm gonna use some of this string. I call it string, but it's it's material for doing egg sacs. It's, uh, you just wrap it two or three times, pull on it, and break it off. And then we just put a couple dabs of super glue on there. But the, you gotta let it dry overnight. Put some super glue on it, let it dry overnight. And you will not be able to pull this off the hook, and neither will the guard pipe. And believe me, it works because you just watch the videos and you will see. You see how good we did. I'm 
not good at tying, so with this stuff you can get it's, it's merciful. It lets you get away with a lot. You just wrap it two or three times and pull it, and pull it tight, and it's there. Now just a couple of drops in. Super glue. And that one's pretty much good to go. And I'll let it dry and then you can stress it out like that. Put a piece piece of bait on that hook. You can have this longer too. We we make some longer shorter, but I'm just doing this for demonstration. Put your bait on the hook and and they'll, they'll get the bait but they'll also get the thread and they won't be able to get their teeth out of the thread and you will catch them. Because I've lost so many fish. I was getting bite after bite after bite and runs they take it and I pulled nothing. Couldn't set the hook. I tried circle hooks. I tried regular hooks. And then I watched a couple videos of someone doing this. And I said, oh, I'm going to try it myself. And, and last year we did. And I went down the next day and boom. We were catching them the very next day. The fish that I was missing, one after another, started catching them. And, and they're fun to catch them. And they're interesting fish. And they say they're delicious to eat, but but they're as tough as an alligator. And that's why they're called maybe alligator guard. Well, in New York State, we got long nose guard. The Jimmy Durandy ones. Okay, now we're going to do a... We did this white one. We're going to do this other one out of the screen material. This is actually off an old springer that, that I got from a friend of mine that passed away. And I made some. Yeah. Um, in his memory and it actually looks like a frog in the water I mean I was amazed it just it turned out that way I didn't intend it to but it turned out that way and looked like a frog in the water if you, you know and and I was getting hit after hit with it so we're gonna do one of them next we're gonna do the, the green stringer one I'm gonna do the, uh, the green one now I call it the green frog one I gotta do is get a hook there Sticking the vise, I'm just putting the eye of the hook in the vise to hold it because I don't want the glue getting in the eye of the hook. Okay, now we just gotta wrap some of this around there. Same, the same way, pretty much. Right, Max? Max, what you doing, man? He's just laying down a little hot. I don't have the air conditioner on at the moment because of the noise. I can't stand the noise it makes, but. The dog loves it, so I'll be turning it on when this video's done. And now we're going to take some magic thread. I forgot the name of the stuff, but I found the package. Magic thread. Some of this magic thread works great. This stuff is great stuff. We're going to take some of this magic thread and just... That's what it's called over right here. Magic thread. Magic thread. Use that for doing egg sacks, for salmon, for salmon eggs, trout eggs. Here's this red, this, this is green. See, we're doing green. I'd like a little green on there. I ripped a smidge out of it off. And all we gotta do is put it in there, wrap it three or four times. Wrap it three or four times, give her a pull, and you're good to go. Put a dab of a circle glue on. And we just put a couple of dabs of super glue on here. Sometimes you get a chemical reaction, the stuff will actually get hot from the super glue. But it will not come off. It will not come off that hook. You you will break your line be before the before the stump of stuff will come off the hook. The fish will break your line first. It stays on that good. But you gotta let it dry dry overnight. You let it dry overnight and you're good to go. And this will look like a little frog coming through the water. We're basically fishing on the bottom. Put a put a piece of 
piece of bait live or dead you can you can use a live menu you could put live bait on there but but we use the uh, we just chunk our bait up if I'm using chubs I'll cut them in pieces or just step on them you know and fresh you know fresh fresh is always better than frozen but frozen won't work too you could use crayfish or whatever a piece of shrimp they're they're not too fussy they almost bite on almost anything I'm, I'm pretty sure them garden might well so you know so in my second year of fishing for them but but I didn't know how to catch them but now I do now now we'll see how many we get I think we may go tomorrow depends on you know depends on what happens in the morning I think we may go tomorrow I don't know for sure We'll wait till we wake up, and if the good Lord's what says me and Max will be headed for the Oak Orchard and see if we can catch some gar pike. So folks, you want to try some different type of fishing, give gar pike a try. Long nose gar in New York State. I don't know, I, they're, they're in other states too, but we don't have the big, big gar pike like they do in the South. But they're fun to catch, so. And this, this lure is cheap to make. Just put some bait on it, and, and you're good to go. Throw it out there and just wait, and uh, they will hook themselves. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. Oh well, yeah, I can see it come to the surface. Cigar. Well, folks, the only thing that's really hitting today is a gar pike. Even though we know the other fish are in here, we don't know if the guard pike are scaring everything away or what. But hey, it's a fish. Plus they're cool. They're cool looking at me. Oh, I could have I could have gotten the net for you. <laughs> All right, nice little guard bike ride. Right? Yeah. Nice one. At least we netted some. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's number one. We broke the ice. Rob got one in. Yeah, I'm gonna stick this. Another big one right hanging out right underneath here. I got a guard bike on a bigger one. I got a guard bike. I got a garb. I want to net this one. Help. Oh, no. I got him. Alright. I got him. I got that. Let's see that. Oh, look at that barber go. Well, my first little garb pike for this year. The garb pike are really jumping around down here. I'm sure we'll catch some more garb pike. I was hoping for a catfish, but I caught a perch earlier. I just chunked it up. I'm gonna try a perch for bait too. Let me keep the garb pike away. Oh no, they're fun to catch them. All right, we'll let this guy go. There he goes, like a bullet. He's gone like a bullet. And we're getting a hit on the perch. I think. Yeah, we're getting a hit on the perch. They're hitting the perch. Once they start really biting, then everything else stops. So let's see what happens here momentarily. Big guard bike. Big guard. Scarf like I'm trying to get him in the net. I can't get this sucker in the net. I got him. Big old guard pike. It's a guard pike. Yeah, it's a bigger one. I know. 
We got this car packed in the size of this one. Mm. When I have gloves on when you pick these things up. You think a pike is slimy. These things are a hundred times slimier. Look at them. Look at the slime on the glove. They're real slimy. That's why I got gloves on. We caught them on a the chunk of perch. That's why we caught that gar pike on this chunk of perch here. I sliced up a perch. Hoping the captors would hit it. But oh well, that was fun. It's a gar pike. A gar pike? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, wow. That's the first one I caught on. Oh, my goodness. A gar pike. A gar pike. Wow. Oh. Looks like a swordfish, don't they? I got it. All right. I'll just figure out how I get that hook out of his mouth. I'm never taking one out of one. You caught him just right. Yeah. A gar pike. Well, that was cool. Are you setting it off? All right, we're gonna let this gar pike go. We're gonna let him go. Let's see the go. Go. Look at him go. Wow. It's like a snake. I know, that was fun. No, we got a gar pike. Oh, he already unlocked, he already, he already uh, unhooked himself too. He's clamped down on the line. See all them teeth? Have him, have him hold it so I can kind of get him on the video. I didn't happen so fast I didn't get the camera on in time. Got him? Nice one, Noah. Yeah, hold on. First fish yeah. they actually landed in the boat. Yeah, and Noah, Noah got Noah. it. Yeah. You see going on my phone? Sure. Where's your phone? It's on. There's two of them going after my lure at the same time. Huh? There's two of them going after it at the same time. Oh, Noah has yeah. caught, caught two gar pike. I'm going to let you know if it tastes like lobster. Okay. All right. Nice one, Noah. Thank you. We're down here on the oak orchard and I'm in Rob's boat. We're just getting started here anyhow. Hopefully the rain's going to hold off. We caught some fish today. We're fishing for gar pike, pike, bass, whatever will bite. We got minnows, chubs, and sweet corn. Is there a red light? Red one out. One on each pole. Yeah. Fish? Got one on the other one. Do you want the net? No. Not even in the, uh, I got the hook nowhere even near his mouth. Right, yeah, he's caught in the uh, material. The rope. Oh, yeah, nice little gar. Nice one, Rob. Nice gar. Yeah, we just started really fishing for these gar, or I did, and my son here. That's a nice little fish. Oh, really do. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's another guy. Another guy. Yes, sir. Are you lacquer bat? Hey, hand me in that. I, I can get it myself. Like, why don't you use the net? Hang on. All right. Boy, they're long like snakes. Fish on. Mm -hmm. Beauty. Yeah, this one don't care. Okay, now I got him. Give, give me the room so I can. Here, I'll uh, do it. What, what do you want me to do? I got to bite a leader. Okay. Let me get the net out again. All right, I got him. There you go, you got him. So, so how'd you get it out? You All just... I did is I grabbed this this part. Oh, he's really tied up on it. Yeah. Watch out for this. Uh, I got some serious teeth and all. Oh, I, I, oh I know. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> I don't know. That slime. What a guy. 
car, probably car hit. Well, that was fun. Camera on. Okay. Push on. Yeah, it's recording. Oh, oh, it's a bigger one. Look bigger. Quiet. A lot bigger. Yeah, a lot bigger. See you, guard. <laughs> Look at the slime. Uh. <laughs> got one on. A big, oh, nice one. Big gar. Boy, folks, I'll tell you, it's been one heck of a day. The wind's blowing like crazy. Right oh, I'm going to come out and net it for you. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, yeah. Monster. Beautiful. Oh yeah, look at that one. Beauty. Beauty. Now that's a fat boy. Nice one, Rob. Beautiful. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> you know what? I haven't taken a single picture. No, I am. Of the fish I caught yet today. Come on. Come up here a minute. Come up here a minute. Yeah, I just got a nest, maybe it's... Oh, yeah, you landed. Yeah, you see that white? Yep, yep. Rob's got one on. Plus, the bike is following it. He's got one on. Oh, ooh, that's a big car. You want me to get my lines up? Oh, here, you can just do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, see the circle. The circle almost got him. Or did it get him? He's a big boy. Oh, that's a, That's bigger than the other car. Oh, oh. You want the nut here? Stuff? I'll, uh, I'll get it for you. Just see there. Got him now as a leader. No, no, it's just wrapped around him. That's it. That's all it was. He was like uh, lassoed. Yeah. <laughs> Get down on a leader. Oh. That's okay. You can have a leader. I'll put another one on. I don't care about it that much. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The leader wasn't on the Oh, wow. Oh, what the hell? You can hold him up with it. Yeah, Rob just got another big gar. Man, the gar puppy. Look at he yeah. just bit down on it. That's it. Oh wow. He's about to let go. Yep. He's a big boy. I bet he's ten pounds. I'd say he's about ten pounds. He's a beauty. Beautiful. Slimy. Oh, I know they are. Slimy like a pike. That's what. That's why they're called a gar pike, maybe. I don't uh, know. There you go. All right. Get my phone. See it all? Another gar. Wow. 
Out of your line. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Right here. Oh, you're good there. You're good there. You got you. I'm good. All right. Come on. Wait a minute. Well, another nice car. Another nice car. Another nice car. Still, still a fish. They all count. Rob and I are gonna be heading back, so thanks for watching our videos. May the good Lord take a liking to you, and we'll see you the next time. We had a good day fishing. Well, there goes my son. We had a great day of fishing today. Oh, we had a real good day. Lots of action. Turned out to be beautiful. And I seen my first eagle. So that was cool. Wow, you can cut bait fishing with Jerry and Max as a Jerry Sheffield production.